Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Bucks come in off a critical game one win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Celtics. The Eastern Conference Finals continue. Hey everyone, welcome to the 2K Sports broadcast of the Eastern Conference Finals. Game two coming up. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, the Bucks are one of the league's powerhouses. And you ask Giannis, and they're not going anywhere. He said, quote, we're going to do this for a long time. The next five, ten years, whatever the case may be. Drew Holiday said, quote, there's going to be consistency building together over the years. Brian, there are no signs of letting up. None. Thanks, Allie. Taking a look at Milwaukee, and with a win in game one, they have an opportunity to put the hammer down tonight. Yeah, this would be a big step toward the finals. To take a 2-0 lead tonight with two more games left on their home court would put them in terrific position. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. And for Milwaukee, Middleton is the three with Giannis playing the power forward. Joe Ingles is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the center position. Tip off goes to Milwaukee. Here's Anadokounmpo. Good. With Giannis, a little power goes a long way, getting him past the contact and to a shot. Tatum against Middleton. Now here's Tatum. Tight defense on him. Horford, a screen on Middleton. Here's Tatum. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. The potential that Tatum still possesses to get better is quite scary. I mean, this guy has done an awful lot in a very short time. He's a versatile forward with tremendous skills and a work ethic to match. That free throw, no good. Hits the second from the line. And Milwaukee has possession. On Kumpo, left side. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three point play. Defensive foul. Robert Williams. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the box. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And that one falls for Antetokounmpo. He's a nightly triple-double threat, and I think Giannis is the most unguardable player in the game. Pass to Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Cutting hard to the bucket. Leaving the defense in the dust. Anadokounmpo outside. Now Ingles. Back to Anadokounmpo. And down it goes. Two points. Anadokounmpo has got seven. Boy, he is so dangerous from this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tightly, powers through it. Pass to Brogdon from deep three-point range. Giannis with the rebound. The Bucks have gone three of three so far from the floor. Now here's Holiday. Anna Nakumpo inside. Guarded by Brockton. Yeah, that one's good. And I love their energy so far. They're now four for four from the field. Out to Horford. Three-pointer. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. You know, it's been a nice evolution to see the three-point shot become a consistent part of what Horford brings to his team. Anadokounmpo outside. Rebounded. 
by the Celtics. Brogdon with the ball. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And here's Brown for three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. The Bucks have gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. And there's the drive. And the layup is good. 11 points in the game. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Tatum against Middleton. Nice move. And the layup is up and in. Tatum's got his second basket. Tatum knows how to score in the paint, folks. He can make any adjustment needed to find the shot that works for him. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Now here's Anacumpo. 11 points in the game. Brogdon up top. And no good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Anacumpo outside with the crossover. Outside Holiday. Here's the three. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Boston trailing. Pass to Brown. Back to Tatum. Soft touch off the glass. Tatum's got his third basket on the night right there. Boy, Brown not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor jump. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis has checked in. Smart's checked in for Boston. Tatum against Middleton. Smart outside. Over to the left wing. Horford for three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. The Bucks have gone five of nine from the floor. Holiday against Smart. To stop the run. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boston's gone two for four from range to start things off. Pass to Tatum. Releases from 15. And the Celtics tack on two more. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. Timeout called. Milwaukee. He's checked in for Lopez. Allen comes in for Ingles. And it's Carter in for Holiday. The Bucks trail. Middleton passes to Portis. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Middleton against Brown. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. Carter against White. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Danilo Gallinari. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. First one falls for him. The Celtics making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. It's both from the stripe. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Pass to White. Kick out to Williams. Back to White. From deep. Milwaukee with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Allen can't get it to go. 
Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that late. Smart with the ball. Now Carter defending. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. On defense, the Bucks. Now here's Smart. Up and over Carter. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Gallinari against Middleton. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And the quickness of Middleton on the drive is really remarkable. I mean, he gets to the bucket so fast. Here's White. Can't cash it in from close range. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Crowder. And here's Middleton. Fades and shoots. No good. A bit long that time. For Boston, they've got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Here's White. He takes it in. Ooh, powered down with both hands. Tell you what, a move like that, hard to the bucket, always going to get your teammates excited and up off the bench. Carter, high post. Drills the elbow jumper. And the Bucks lead by two. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now here's White. Outside Gallinari. And a miss there on the triple. For Milwaukee, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. Outside Carter. Here's Middleton. That shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Smart outside. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Bucks shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And stolen by Williams. Carter against Smart. Pass to Griffin. Now White. The kick out to Williams. Shoots over Portis. White. And he gets that one. White's got his second bucket on the night. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Milwaukee Bucks. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be right back. The Celtics. 19. by 2K Sports. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, Guys? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Holiday and Cotterson are in a guard. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. And it's Ingles in at the three. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. So it's Milwaukee now, following the bucket by the Celtics. Two points. That one goes. Once Giannis gets going now, he stays hot. He's capable of putting the entire offense on his broad shoulder. Outside, Brown launches a three. Adetokounmpo grabs the board. Adetokounmpo has got rebound number five here tonight. Always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. Boston trailing. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brown. Outside for Brogdon. Offline with a three. And Milwaukee shooting 56% today. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Or the aggressive approach from Giannis. I like it. Not settling for the layup. Instead, punching it off. That's the way you do it. 
Pass to Tatum. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Williams grabs the board. The Celtics have gotten only one of four shots to go in. And stolen by Holiday. On the wing, Holiday. There's the three. The shot no good. And Boston going the other way now. Brown passes to Horford. And Horford powers it home. Well, you can't afford to give Horford that type of advantage inside. As soon as you do that, you're cooked. On the wing, Holiday. Guarded by Brogdon. Holiday passes to Ingles. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And you know, at almost seven feet tall, Ante de Kumpo is it's dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from going in the paint. Both good from the line that time. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Who poked away? It's stolen by Holiday. It's stolen by Tatum. Down low. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Hey, defenders already have a lot to worry about with Tatum scoring. When he's making passes like that, too. Watch out. Now here's Ana Kumpo. He's got 17. And Jalen Brown gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Drogic has checked in for Drew Holiday. Lauren Drogic. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Anadokounmpo against Horford. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Connaughton. Now here's Ingles. Let's the three fly. That one falls. Great assist by Dragic. And the veteran Dragic, excellent at sensing when one of his teammates is open to shoot. Pass to Williams. Second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Here's Ana de Kumpo. The rebound, Celtics. Williams has got four rebounds in the game. Tatum with it. Ingles covering. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. And during the postseason, let's see who's been working the hardest on the glass. Giannis Antetokounmpo on top. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Bucs? Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. Crowder, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Gallinari, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Brown. Ingles passes to Crowder. And here's Dragic on the wing, Connaughton. And it's off from three-point range. Tatum from long range. Boston again missing. The Bucks have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. They're crafty at drawing contact. Dragic relishes getting inside and putting the defense in compromising situations. At the line for Milwaukee, Goran Dragic. At the line for the first one falls. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Allen comes in for Connaughton. Williams is checked in for Boston. Smart comes in for Brogdon. And I like that Dragic can either run your offense or be your offense. By that, I mean he can find shots for himself as easily as he does for others. Milwaukee has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Crowder with it. Picked up by Tatum. Pass to Portis. Portis. 
shoots over Gallinari. Portis gets the bucket. And the Bucks lead by seven. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Smart against Dragic. From 10 feet away, connects. The jumper drops. Smart has gotten his first bucket of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Portis. Uses the glass on the layup. Portis has got four points in the quarter. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. On the wing, Tatum. He's got 11. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Jason Tatum has so many different ways he can score, showing us a little solo spurt ability right there. Portis, the pass to Dragic. It's stolen by Smart. Gallinari with it. Portis picks him up. White for three. It's hauled in by Portis. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. Tatum against Crowder. Here's Gallinari. Strong move inside. Gallinari can beat you with finesse. He can also beat you with power. Shooting for Boston. At the line for two. That's good for Gallinari. A different look for Milwaukee. Middleton comes in for Lopez. And it's Carter in for Dragic. The Celtics also with a sub. Griffin, he's checked in for Tatum. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Here's Middleton. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't have it. Now here's Smart. Here's Gallinari. Good D by Middleton. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on White. The athleticism of Middleton puts defenders in a rough spot. I mean, sometimes you just have to whack him and hope he misses the shot. Taking two shots. And he makes a first. Both free throws good from Middleton. Middleton so highly productive and consistent. A steady contributor night in and night out. Smart passes to Griffin. Here's White. Three-pointer. Crowder grabs a miss. Oh, love the intensity when they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Gallinari. White finds Smart. Outside, Gallinari. Driving inside. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. The mobility from Gallinari. For a guy of his size, he can really blitz the hoop. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Middleton. No good on the fadeaway. Boston trailing. Griffin outside. Pass to White. Inside. Here's Smart. And he lays it up and in. Sees his man, threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. And here's Crowder from the arc. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's Milwaukee closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We'll be right back with you shortly.
some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, they've got their rebounding to thanks for this lead. Uh, all first half, they were fighting for the boards. Those extra possessions make a big difference. Man, if they could keep that going on the second half, man, they'll be in good place. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks, They did what they needed to in game one. Got the win, kept home court advantage. Big fella, how important was that? Uh, it's nice, Ernie, but it means nothing. One loss here and they relinquish home court advantage. Got to stay hungry. Yeah, they can't sit back and get comfortable. This is when the adjustments are made. They need to be sharp for this one. Momentum up for grabs. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. So the Celtics five right now. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Williams in at the center position. Ingles with it. Now guarded by Brown. Middleton, no good. And the Celtics in possession here. Seven-point differential. Brown can't hit. Well, Milwaukee's shooting it at 52%. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Good. And he's at 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Really confident from the interior because of his length and strength. Giannis feels like he can score from anywhere, anytime. Horford for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. And on to Kupo, the bucket. All the assist from Holiday. And now an 11-point Bucks lead. And for the Celtics, they're shooting about 43% on this one. Horford, left side. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. So they pinned that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, Horford is versatile now. He's a big guy that can play on the perimeter, but his bread is buttered with jelly and jam inside. That's good from Horford. Horford hits them both. Well, you think about the experience of Horford, and he brings a lot to the table for your team, including setting a great example on and off the floor for the young guys. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Now here's Brogdon. Outside, Brown. Green by Horford. Right at the free throw line. Yep, that one goes. Brown's gotten his second bucket of the game. I like the confidence and the assurance that Brown is taking these shots with. I mean, his mid-range game is actually on point. Ingles from outside. The shot that time not on target. And Boston going the other way now. Outside Tatum. Outside Brogdon. Williams a screen on Holiday. Five to shoot. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Tatum from long range. Rebounded by the Bucks. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Honor to Kumpo against Horford. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. During the playoffs, the NBA leaders in shooting from the floor. Giannis Antetokounmpo on top. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. And that one misses. 
The Bucks making a switch here. Connaughton's checked in. No good on the second free throw. The Celtics have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Brogdon, and Brogdon with the stuff. Very good at exploiting the defense. Brogdon is excellent at finishing off these drives. Connaughton outside. Pass to Ingles. The three ball. And they recover it. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Tatum inside. Hunter Kupo's there. And it's Tatum missing. Now here's Lopez. Hunter Kumpo inside. Horford covering. Hunter Kupo can't connect. For Boston, they've got just two of six in the second half. Brown against Ingles. Brogdon. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. Here's Williams. The kick to Tatum. Pass to Brogdon. Horford, a screen on Holiday. And it's Brogdon missing. The Bucks have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Trying to get back on track. And it's finished off by Anadokounmpo as he lays it in. Anadokounmpo's got eight points in the quarter. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Oh, the energy and focus on display. Saw an opportunity to get inside, and they continue to build at this lead. Now here's Brown. And that one hits the back iron. Both sides going at it. Classic good offense, first good defense. That one goes in. And now it's an 11-point Milwaukee lead. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. group getting ready for the Bucks. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Anadokounmpo. Allen, he's checked in for Ingles. And it's Carter in for Holiday. against Gallinari. Pass to Smart. White with it. Gallinari with a screen on Carter. Here's White. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. You know, I think that's exactly the right attitude for White to have. Go at the defender head on and don't back away from the contact. That's good from White. White hits them both. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. On defense, the Celtics. They trail by nine. Portis outside. Back to Crowder. Six to shoot. 
No good with the triple. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Williams. Hook loose. Gallinari for three. And the three-pointer goes. Gallinari's got seven points. As a stretch four, those are the shots they're depending on Gallinari to hit. He rounds out their offense when he's hitting those shots. It's stolen by Smart. To the middle. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scales. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucs. Well, they found success off the drive, creating a lot of buckets by getting into the teeth of the defense. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. Brown, he's checked in for Griffin. Boston's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. White with it, now guarded by Crowder. White with the pass to Brown. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Oh, got a piece of it. Crowder finds Allen. Collinson outside. Crowder outside. Fires the three. Here's Portis. Second chance shot. Good on the bucket. He's got ten. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Smart outside. Outside White. Launches it. Milwaukee with the rebound. Portis has got six rebounds here tonight. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint. White against Carter. Outside White. Williams a screen on Carter. White the pass to Williams. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. Connaughton against Brown. Pass to Crowder. Back to Connaughton. Three-pointer off the mark. And Boston has possession. 11-point game. That one's good for two. Brown's got six. You know, when Brown has that jump shot working, guys, he's very hard to slow down. Nice-looking release on his shot. Here's Crowder. Pass to Connaughton. No good on the triple. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. 25 points and counting for him. They have relied heavily on his offense. Back to the game after this break. State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Joe Ingles is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Portis in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Here's Horford after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Oh, great D that time from Portis. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. On to Kumpo inside. He's against Horford. Yeah, he just establishes position and stands firm. That's how you earn your rebound, with strong, solid technique. Now here's Smart. 
Outside Tatum. From outside the arc. That's his six making 11 tries. When Tatum is set up now, he's automatic. He wastes no time pulling the trick. Monitor Kumpo against Horford. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the box. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And that one falls for Honor de Kumpo. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And so Honor de Kumpo nails both of them. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Tatum passes to Williams. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Shooting for ball. Robert Williams. Two shots. And he's off on the first. And he sinks the second. Milwaukee in the lead. Ingles passes to Anadokounmpo. Driving in. Lays it up and banks it in. Anadokounmpo's got 14 points here in the second half. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Pass to Williams. Outside Brogdon. Horford, a screen on Holiday. Shot clock at five. Brogdon finds Horford. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Brooke Lopez. You know, they say you can't run away from the DNA, and Al Horford's dad, Tito, played a little while in the NBA as well. You can see evidence of that in Al's game. Good on the second one. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. And it's out of the Kumpo, off the drive. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but he drew the foul, and he'll go to the line. You know, when Arthur Tukumpo puts his head down, man, it is a really terrifying yeah. sight for the defense when this guy's coming at you all limbs and arms and size and ball skills. Usually you just end up hacking away at him to stop him from getting to the hoop. And he's good on the second. Here's Brogdon. Outside Tatum. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. And that one falls for Tatum. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Defensive foul, Robert Williams. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Boy, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. Now a timeout called by Boston. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, he completely took over, I think, on both ends of the floor. Scoring with authority and influencing a lot of plays, almost every play. This was the kind of night you dream about as a player. Boy, he is raising his game in the postseason, no doubt about it. Only certain players respond to playoff pressure like he has. Impressive stuff. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Celtics head coach was saying to the team. 
He told them, quote, if we'd worked harder on the glass, we'd probably be up right now. Show some heart. Show some pride. It was a very direct message. Back to you guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. On the wing, Tatum. And then Tatum slams it in. An athletic forward who dunks it with style. He's showing off his dunking ability right there. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. The Bucks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Shots good by Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo has got 37. They're finding ways to get the ball to the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game. But consider my doubts disappear. Now here's Tatum. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. On to Kumpo inside. Horford covering. Boston's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. To the inside. It's tipped. Holiday with the ball. Now Horford defending. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. Terrific line that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. Outside Tatum with a shake. Oh, sweet move. Rejected by Anna Kumpo the paint in transition and the shot goes down honor has got 43 points all game long he's been getting to his spots and the defense has yet to adjust the kick out to Williams to the wing on the left Horford for three rebound by Middleton here's Milwaukee they're on a 16 to 7 run and on to Tecumpo with the stuff you know, this is Drew Holiday's role. He's out there to run the offense and get his guys going. Boston with the ball. Trailing by 19. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Horford against Anadokounmpo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. That free throw misses. Brown, he's checked in for Smart. And the second free throw is good. For Boston, they've gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Outside, Brown. Pass to Tatum. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. In transition. Here come the Bucks. Ingles from outside. He can't get that one to fall. And Boston going the other way now. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Out to the right wing. Austin foul. Jalen Brown. Second personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
And that one falls for Ana de Kupo. He does not get the second one. Boston's gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Here's Brown. And the jam by Brown. This is the kind of unselfishness you love seeing from Brogdon, making sure he gets it to the open man. The Bucks have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. To the left wing. Anacumpo is doubled. Pass to Lopez. Outside Holiday. From behind the arc. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Now Brogdon. And Brogdon with the stuff. It's nice to see when Brogdon doesn't settle for the layup. Instead, going in there to finish with power. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. They're in front by 17. And there's a minute 45 left in the game. Kupo finds Ingles on target from range. And the Bucks lead by 20. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Bobby Portis has checked in for Honor Kumpo. Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. Allen, he's checked in for Ingles. And Dragic has subbed in for Drew Holiday. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Griffin, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Horford. White, he's checked in for Brown. And Smart subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. And game two of the conference finals is always so important. What a great win this is for the Bucks. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. Another statement win here in these conference finals. They look like they're in complete control and want to finish this series as quickly as possible. But at the same time, it's important that they don't get too ahead of themselves. We've seen teams come back from 2-0 deficits before, so it's important they maintain this momentum moving ahead. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Lopez. And he banks in the layup. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And so it's Boston with it. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Connaughton against White. Pass to Dragic. Portis, left side. Back to Dragic. Tries it from 19. No good off the glass. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Thanks, guys. Drew, this team is winning games. What's coming together for this group right now? Honestly, I think it's a feel. I think it's a comfortability with each other. Uh, I think it's the chemistry on the court. And from there, you know, as chemistry builds, you build confidence. And, uh, man, it just, it's fun to play, you know? I do. I hope it continues to build. It's been fun to watch. Thanks, Drew. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long, everyone.